Hello everyone, I'm Eden and welcome back to my playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Last episode, we finished off the shrines on the Great Plateau and obtained the paraglider and learned the backstory to what's even going on around here. Um, I'm heading towards Impa in Kakariko Village, but on my way there, I stumbled across a shrine. So let's do our first shrine that's off the Great Plateau. Let's see what a uh, trial it's got for us in store here. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great day. Now that I've kind of finished the, I guess you could call the Great Plateau, like the tutorial area basically of the game. Um, now I'm excited to move on and see kind of what the whole map has in store for me. I did uh, obviously cut out a little bit of exploring between the end of the last episode and getting to the shrine. And I think in general, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing because there's, it's a vast map and a lot of places um, just kind of walking through to you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Bashkala. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. All right. The wind guides you. Ooh, I hope I can even do this shrine. I don't know what that means. I hope I don't need anything extra. Surely they wouldn't put like a... Ooh. Oh, I wonder if I use the paraglider. I was gonna say, I wonder if they would have a shrine this early in the game. Let's see. No? Maybe I need to, like, jump off? Oh, there we go. Nope. Let me try that again. I was gonna say, hopefully they don't have, um... something... too complicated this early on. Nope. Okay. Ooh! Oh, I did it! What we got here? Oh, Amber. Okay. Um, that wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be, but that's okay. Let's keep going. So it seems like I mostly just need the glider then. Um, this way. It's a little precarious just jumping off ledges here, but that's okay. Ah! Oh no, I don't think I made this one. I don't think I made this one. Okay. Oops. <laughs> oh, I'm losing like a heart every time. Okay, let me uh, eat something <laughs> so that I don't die. Uh, God. Eat it fresh. Uh, what about this one? No, I have some food. Um, can I just eat this? All right, that works. Um, let's see. Is there another one over here? Already struggle busting it. <laughs> up here oh okay it looks like a way back where I came from I don't think I need to do that but down here I don't see I don't see one over here oh there's a chest hmm I don't know how I'd make it over there maybe I'll get there in a second I guess this is the next one that I can go go on. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, I almost overshot it. That was close. Okay. Oh. Wait, is this the end? Oh. I don't even know how you would get that chest over there then. Um You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get my prize here. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I died a couple times in your wind. If I could get your spirit orb, that would be great. Thank you. The resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. They all look so creepy. They're like little mummies. They've been mummified, waiting for a hero to complete their trial, I guess. So you're telling me there's no one else in Hyrule that can do these. Just me. Actually, I guess that makes sense because I have the Sheikah Slate and... Most of them require that to get um, whatever power you need. Like the Great Plateau, you had to get Magnesis and the bombs and the cold one that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Cryonis? I don't think that's right. I'd have to see the word. <laughs> I saw the, I saw cry, C-R-Y, and I was like, okay, it has something to do with the cold, but I can't say the word. Like cryogenic. 
cryonis, cryonosis, cryonosis or something like that. Yeah, uh, that's all right. All right, so that was our uh, side quest, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. What? Hold on. Where, where do I see my quest? I'm so confused. Collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Interesting, okay. <laughs> well, I don't own that game, <laughs> but I do actually have the first one, Proxim Bridge. I do have a Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, what is it, Definitive Edition for um, the Switch, so I will be playing that at some point. Are you evil? Actually, you look like a normal person. The end is here. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's badder than most. What are you looking at? We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here, I'm talking about those towers. Yeah, I may have had something to do with that. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Aww. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly started moving, you know? Yeah, good idea! Ah. Yeah, that guardian is worth watching. It's just like the ones from those old stories. Mm. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. <laughs> Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Yeah, I don't plan on heading toward the castle uh, anytime soon. Alright. Well, we are still heading toward Impa. And I think she was in Kakariko Village? Or the forest? I I'm just following the Sheikah Sleet here. I think that's a tower up there. If I, uh climb it, I think I can uh, have it as one of my fast travel points. Oh, but now that I've done the shrine, that counts as a fast travel point. Initially, I was getting worried because I didn't have anywhere in the area to fast travel to, but now I do. And then I think if I climb that, I can count that one too. Let's uh, head over in that direction then. Can I cross this here to get over there? Like, can I swim across? Let me try swimming. X is dash. Oh, you have a... Stamina. Oof. I don't know. Maybe. Go, Link, go! I don't know if I have the stamina. I don't. Oh no, I'm gonna drown. Oh. Oh, I didn't drown. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> I thought it was game over. That's funny. Oh, it's all the way over there. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, it's a lot of those guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hit them. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> There's so many up there. I'm not gonna make it. I shouldn't have crossed. I should not have crossed. I'm going back. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? Ugh, dash. Dash. Can I just like regular, ouch, regular swim? Oh no. I think I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Dang it. Can I just cross back over there? How do I get over there? Oh, they see me. Come on. Get across. I think I can make it this time. Oh, There we go. I wanted to get to that tower, but I don't know the easy way to get over there. Because it's kind of down in the water. Get away from me. Ugh. Bye. Oh man, the spear's damaged now. I am just like going through weapons like nobody's business. Yeah, I would like to climb that, but... Every time I try to get close, I drown or I get... 
killed by something? Crap. Uh, can I use your arm against you? There we go. It's very damaged. Nope. Don't, don't, don't come back together. Don't come back together. Get away. There we go. And then I'll take this. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go anyways. I think it said something about through the dueling peaks. Is that what they were called? Is there something here? This looks ominous. What's this? Torch. Okay. Ooh, a chest. I'll take whatever's in here. Thank you. Hopefully it's a weapon. No, it's flint. Ooh, I'll take this. Ugh. Let me, um, get rid of some of this junk. Drop. Keep all that. Uh, drop. I'll take this. It's over here. Huh. There's a guy over here. Juicy sirloin. What? Don't give me that look. Yeah, maybe it's a bit of a wasteland here, but I find it peaceful being all alone out in the wilderness. If you've got time to judge, you've got time to buy some meat from me. Maybe I can even cut you a deal. I carry only the finest meats. I guarantee these are top choice provisions or your rupees back. Um, I'm good, thanks. I don't even think I have rupees yet. I'm not actually supposed to climb this, am I? Oh, is that a shrine? I think that's a shrine. Huh. Maybe I can get across over there. I can find like a uh, like a shallow area to cross. But it looks like there's something in the water. Ugh! I can climb up there though for sure. Oh man. Maybe if I uh, get away from me. Ah. Oh. Get away! I missed him? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. That's all the damage it did? Oh no, I'm about to die again. Oh, I can do the bombs. Okay, let me kill him with bombs. That might be a lot easier. Oh, they're coming out. <gasps> oh, they're coming out. Okay, I didn't know they could get out of the water. Get away from me. I'm gonna die again. Get away. Oh, I'm missing. Get away. Did he heal? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's so many enemies here. Is it just because it's nighttime? Oh my gosh. Is he getting me? Can I just run? I'm just running. I'm gonna pull a cowardice thing and run. Here, maybe I can cross the water here and get to that shrine. Swim, swim, swim. And uh, let me see if I have something I can eat. Oh my gosh, that was intense. Um, let's see, so I have some shrooms. Come on, take some shrooms, Link. Let's take several shrooms. More shrooms. There we go. Oh my goodness. I think I should be able to just climb up there. That doesn't look too bad. That was quite an adventure. Ooh. Sparkly. Why is it sparkly? I think that means something. I just don't know what it means. And we're almost up here. Perfect. The Ridahi Shrine. Let me in. That was an intense sequence. And uh, I'm not very strong, am I? <laughs> I have no good weapons, no health. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gotten the stamina from the prayer statue earlier. Maybe I should have gotten more hearts because now I feel like I'm not in a good place, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll just do more shrines. Yeah, I always uh, wondered because I, I knew of the shrine mechanisms. I just always kind of wondered what you got from them. And now I know you can get more health or ooh, more health or more stamina. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Ri Dahi. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. What you got for me? 
timing is critical. Oh no, I don't like timed things. Okay. So I need... There we go. That looks like it does something. Okay. Oh, I see. It's giving me a platform. Perfect. Take me back. Maybe? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. All right. And then... Is there anything else up here? I think that was it. Okay. So this here does something also. Maybe something similar? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. Okay. Please uh, respawn. Perfect. Okay. Ah, there we go. I think. Yep. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Perfect. <gasps> I wasn't on it. Oh no. I wasn't paying attention. Come back. It'll come back, right? Right? Okay. I was like, oh, I missed it. I missed it. All right. Take me. Let's go. This is fun. I like this. Uh, I like this trial. All right. And then another one over here. Let's see. What does this one do? There it goes. And then, oh, okay. So I have to time it so that it pops off at the end. Let's, uh, nope, that's too soon. And no, hmm, it needs more momentum. Why am I crouched? Get up. There we go. And up. Oh, man. Um, is there another way to do this? I don't think so. Did it! Nice! Oh, and I wasn't on the platform again. <laughs> Darn it. Come back. Please come back to me. And I'm on. I think this is it. How do you- how can I reach that chest? Is there another way? Can I jump? It's like floating. Huh. I'm sure there's a way. I'm just not sure of it. Huh. And I'm not gonna jump to my death, so I'm just gonna go to the end of the end of the shrine. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm too nervous. The good thing is you can fast travel back, so I guess if you just redid the uh the trial, you could get to the chest at a later time. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. I think they all just say the same thing. I've been quoting it each time, but I don't think they're saying anything new. <laughs> oh well. Awesome. So that's two. I already got two spirit orbs, and I know next time I'm getting me some health. That would be great. All right. Yeah, God is smiling. Yes, yes, yes. Got a smiling. Save Hyrule. I get it. I'll keep heading towards Impa. I'm guessing these shrines get harder the further out you get. The, the puzzles get harder. So far it hasn't been too bad. Alright, let's uh... Is it daytime yet? Almost. Can I just um glide off of here back over to that side? Oh, they're there. Um, I'm just going to try to dodge them because they're not being very nice to me. And we're here. Okay. Well, let's continue on towards Impa, see what we find. Oh, it's a person. Is it the same guy from earlier? The meat guy? You doing okay? Yeah, it's the same guy. Mezer? Mazer? I, uh, don't need meat. And I don't even think I, like I said, I don't even think I have rupees. I don't think I've acquired any money yet. Ugh. Scary. I was saying this, I don't know if it was this episode, I think it was the last episode, but I noticed at least while I was on the Great Plateau that if I took out a group of those Bakoblins, that they didn't respawn later. So I'm wondering if that's just how it is, like they don't respawn. Or if maybe they just respawn after maybe a few day cycles. What is up there? Can I climb this? I'm gonna go up there. It's not 
I don't think it's one of those towers. It looks like something else. Do I have enough stamina? Let's find out. Pick up. And throw. Is there anything in there? No, it didn't even break. Okay. Oh, a rupee! I have money now! Yay! I have one rupee. Let's uh go up here. Oh, okay. It doesn't require stamina to just climb the ladder. Perfect. I am curious what's up here. Oh, and then I can just uh I can just paraglide off. Get a get some momentum. Looks like a chest. And a sword! A rusty broadsword, alright. Oh, it's not a chest, it's a... Can I push it off? What is it? Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> that was a close one. Um... Ew. Get away from me. These things gross me out. Ugh! Alright. I kind of wanted to jump off and... Glide. <gasps> Ooh, another shrine! Man, these things are everywhere. Big twin bridge. Let's do that one. What's uh what is that? That looks ominous. I'm gonna go to the shrine first. Oh! <gasps> Who's attacking me? Who is that? Someone's launching stuff at me. I'm gonna ignore you, sir, and I'm gonna go to this Oh. It's uh covered in spikes. Can I even get in here? The Hadamar Shrine. Oh, I bet I have to, uh... I wonder if I have to glide here. Because I can't get around those. Let me try that. Actually, before I head over there... I hear music. Oh, okay, maybe this isn't... <laughs> I thought this was like a bad guy. <gasps> Horses! Dueling Peak Stable. Come on over. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must have items for travelers. And I always charge a fair price or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Um, I don't think I need anything right now. Yeah, I'll see you around. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to fi figure out the mystery of that blood moon. Blood moon? You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Oh, I was just asking. I was wondering about respawning. That's what is known as the blood moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. If you learn anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Oh, that answers that question. I was wondering, uh, I can give you directions. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. That's a lot of energy in this place. So where are you heading? Both Kakariko Village and uh, Hatano, Hateno Village are nearby. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> it's a village on the edge of Hyrule. It was largely unaffected by the events of the Great Calamity, so the people there are pretty easygoing. I hear they even have a research center. But folks tend to avoid the weird scientist who lives there. Anyway, head north from here until you find or reach a fork in the road. Then go east and just follow the road. It's a little far if you walk it, but with a horse, you should get there in under a day. Leave it to Rensa to tell you about the roads around this area. What about Kakariko Village? Uh, where the Sheikah clan lives. It's said that some time ago, they had advanced techniques that were more powerful than anyone had seen. But that power put them at odds with the king at the time, and they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave here and follow the road straight to the north, you'll find a big bridge. Cross that and keep following the path, and you'll come to the Kakariko Village gate. Leave it to Rensa to tell you about the roads around this area. What about the horses? Can I have one? Did you not see any horses on your way there? On your way here? Certainly not as many in years past, but there are still quite a few around. Horses in the wild are, well, wild. No one has trained or cared for them. If you manage to cat one, let, catch one, let my brother Tasserin know. He'll register the horse for you. My boys are wellsprings of information about horses, so feel free to pick their brains. Okay. 
So I have to catch my own. I was kind of hoping they would just give me one. A lot of monsters come out at night. Yeah, I've noticed. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I not have one of these? It's so nice here. Good morning. Don't see a whole lot of pa uh, travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago. But there's still monsters wandering around uh, in the area near Hyrule Castle. It's especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. What is that? Mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed. Others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. Hey, I just took a 100 year nap, ma'am. <laughs> I can't have it on my conscience if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Ooh, uh, nice, okay. Using a hasty elixir increases your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies or anytime I need to hurry. The recipe is just high-tailed lizard and monster parts. Oh, I usually have a stock of 10 or so on hand. Oh, nice. Okay. Can I have a uh, some of these? What is this? Wood. Okay. Can I have this? Nice. <laughs> like, I need a... Oh, no. Let me, uh... Let me drop some stuff. Let's see. Go back to weapons. I mean, I don't need some of these, right? Like the club or the torch. Let me drop the torch. Um, I have all these rusty items. Drop. Oops. No, I just picked it right back up. All right, that's fine. Awesome. Well, I would really like one of those horses, but I'm guessing they're not for me yet. Okay, I'm going to actually try my theory of um, climbing there and trying to land on that shrine and we'll see if that's uh if that works out i'll cut to that either way i can see horses in the distance over there so i think i will try to grab one of those if i can't figure out how to get to this shrine this is already a couple attempts in to uh doing this so we'll see uh jump i don't think there's a way to like pick that pick it back up like, I don't think you can find, like, a gust of wind or anything. Maybe. Oh, I did it! Ha! Yes! Okay. For a second, I was thinking it wasn't even possible. Let's do this, then. <laughs> I'd already tried it a couple of times, and, um... Actually, I probably was gonna give up after this, but it worked out. Alright, let's do this shrine. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what the trial has to offer. Or what we have to offer the trial. I mentioned this, I think, in the first episode, but um, feel free to leave me spoiler-free tips or hints if I miss something or if something's worth going back and getting, like some of these chests I've been skipping. I, I don't want to be straight up backseated or have, you know, the story spoiled, but I'm sure I'm going to miss uh, Ha Dahamar. I'm, um, I'm sure I'm going to miss a lot. And I mean, this game is massive. So like, I'm telling you right now, I'm not 100%ing this game. The water guides. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, but oh, I bet water. I probably need to do the freeze thing. Oops, let me do that. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely not 100%ing this game. I know. I mean, I know that that's possible, but um, let's do it right there. There we go. I know it's possible. But I'm definitely not. Huh, can I make it come out of the- Oh, ooh, I can. Okay, um, there we go. I'm definitely not gonna- Oh no, oh no! No! Let's try this again. Um, jump? There we go. Anyways, I'm, um, definitely not trying to necessarily 100% everything. Oh, okay, I see. Because I think there's like over a hundred shrines. I don't know if that includes DLC. I don't have the DLC. Anything over here? No. I don't have the DLC, so um... Oh, am I supposed to... Oh. I think I completely walked past what I was supposed to do. There we go. Um, I don't have the DLC, so I don't know how much I'm missing out on by not having the DLC as far as like extra shrines and stuff. Um... Okay. Oh, he's right. He's right here. Okay. 
So I need to somehow redirect. Maybe I did need to go up there. I need to redirect the ball. Okay. I was wrong. I, or I was right originally. I do need to be up here because I need to freeze some parts of the waterfall so that I can redirect the ball into the hole. If I can even reach that far. So it comes down from here. I need it to hit there, but I need it. Okay. Huh. I need to do two of these, I think. I don't know. Can you have two at the same time? Let's um try that. Oh, it stops it. Oops. Um, can I get rid of it? There we go. <laughs> Let's try that again. Maybe like here? Nope. That's not right either. Mm, like here? To redirect it down? No! Darn it! I keep doing it to... Maybe like here. And then I need to put one here too to stop it from going down. Oh, I can only have one at a time! Okay. Wait, I just realized I can do two, right? Oh! What the heck? Why was I having so much trouble with that? Okay, hold on. Let me try this again. Um... Ah. I thought I... I don't know what I thought I was doing. Here, let's try this. This should work, right? Oh no. Maybe... No, it's not gonna work. If I can put one, like, right here, maybe? Oh! <gasps> maybe that'll keep it from falling out. <gasps> Will it, like, bounce up? Oh! Oh! Oh, go, little guy, go! Yes, I think that's it. Maybe? Open that door for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. That took a while. <laughs> All right. So I didn't even need to use stasis. I don't know if I'll end up editing out, but I used stasis quite a few times trying to see if that was part of it, but it was not. You don't even need it. Give me my spirit orb. I earned it. <laughs> that was quite a puzzle, sir. Good for you. The promise of a hero. And I promise I will save Hyrule once I've done enough of these shrines to have better health and stamina. Because <laughs> my health right now, I keep getting killed. All right, well, I have three. Perfect. So I'm already close to being able to uh, trade them in again. I'm wondering if uh, those prayer statues are all over Hyrule or if I have to go back to um, the Great Plateau each time to redeem them. I guess we'll find out at some point. <laughs> Actually, that would be kind of a hassle to have to travel back there each time. Hmm, I guess we'll see. I'll look into that at some point. All right, well... I've actually been filming for a while. We did three shrines. We've continued our way towards uh, Impa and Kakariko Village. So we will continue towards her in the next episode. If you enjoyed your time here today and want to support the channel, leave a like and say hi down in the comments below and consider subscribing if you want to catch more of this series. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Breath of the Wild.